In this video, we're going to place the main ducts and also tie in their diffusers. So if I go ahead and uh, look at my plan, you'll see I have a, uh, have one in here already. Now I can just come in here and delete it, um, like so. We'll worry about that little piece later. We'll connect these. So one thing we want to do is figure out exactly where we, we are on the big picture. So I'm going to flip this like so, and I'm going to check where everything is. So I go up top, zoom out a little bit, and my ceilings are at, let's say, 9 feet. Now I'm going to put my duct up high because later I can move it down once I figure everything out. So I'm going to go at maybe 12 foot. I come in here, start the duct tool. Now this is important. If I use the connect into tool, which we'll mention in a moment, you want to pick the duct that you want to connect into to use. So I want my connect into to use round duct with taps and short radiuses. So that's what I'm going to do the main pipe or the main duct. I can change it later. So I come in here and I place that element from maybe say here all the way across. Now, once I place it in, we now will verify the height. We'll go over here and double click, make sure it's the right height. Okay, it's high up like so. Uh, and we'll even maybe move it over. Well, it really doesn't matter. We'll leave where it is. So it, there it is. There's a duct. Now it's time to connect into. Now, if I grab this element and I hit the connect into tool, this is the key point. When I hit connect into and I pick this duct, the duct that I pick, that's the properties that it uses. So it looks at this. This was round with taps, short radiuses. So that's what it used for that uh, connection. Uh, so we can continue on with that, uh, and that will just snap them on in nice and neat. But there's no real personality to it. It's pretty much just pops them straight in, and it went up and over nice and neat. Later on, if I want to pull this duct down, you can see how I've got some space in here to, to, to make sure it, it works out back in the plan. Now if you don't want to do it that way, I want to go around something or I've got something to deal with, I grab the element, you see it says 8 inch round. I can start creating the duct. Now I know this one's at 12 foot, so I want to get up to that level. So I'm going to take this, go over to 12 foot. That brings it straight up. Now I'm going to come over and I'm going to come and tie into it. And we pick it and you'll see it goes over and ties in. So let's check that out in 3D real quick. We zoom in, you can kind of see in there what's going on. I'm going to change this from coordination back to mechanical and you'll see that the image is going to change and so you can see exactly what's happening here. So that's two ways, connect into and then hand placing them. If we were going to use flex duct, okay, we can then use flex duct uh, to make that happen. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a cap on this end and I'm going to let it try to uh, calculate the loads. We'll see if that happens or not. So I'm going to go to duct fitting. Okay, let's see what we got here, duct fittings. And there's a little cap. If you scroll down through here, you'll actually see round end cap, and we pop it on the end. Woohoo! Now, uh, to run the loads on this, we can actually run over and go tab, 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 tab. So we pick up all the elements, and it's not picking this one up for some reason. Tab, tab. Now, we got the elements, and then we come over here and hit duck, duck sizing, and we can hit OK on that, and we can see if it changes anything. Okay, a couple things may have adjusted, like so. Now, um, we may decide, well, we don't want this to be round. We want it to be square. So I'll come in here, and at this point, I can change it to rectangle, miter, maybe taps. So it changes it, and now it's rectangular. Let's verify. Let's go back to the 3D mode. And there it is. See, it's rectangular. Now, um, by setting it to rectangular, we may have to change that little end cap out, which we will in a little bit. It's rectangular, but notice all this stuff stayed. The last thing would be convert to flex duct. I can then say six feet, grab the diffuser, it'll change it to flex, uh, change it to flex like so. So kind of cool there. We'll go back and uh, recap on that. To add one, we can click on this and then connect into. Now I'm going to use a connect into. Let me get that to work again. Try that one more time. Select the diffuser, connect into, and I pick this here. Now, I want you to notice what happens. Now, see, this was a square one, right? We had changed it to square. If we go to 3D again, notice that it used square to connect it in. So the trick was it's going to connect in whatever this is. So I'll change that back to round. So it's a, it's a very subtle change, but what it does, it makes a difference when using the connect into. So it's back round. <laughs> yep. And again, it's one sentence and one little, you know, Thing. So I, I continue to use the connect in. It's easy. Connect into, connect into, um, and connect into here. 
Now, if we want to break it because we're thinking it might want to uh, might want to do something, I can come in here using the modify tool, and there's that little break tool. So I'm gonna say let's put a little break here in case it needs to size. All right, now we've got a handful of different pieces, and we'll again run the load on here. We roll over it, hit tab, tab, pick it, and we'll say duck sizing. Now again, it's round, so let's change it to square. I know, kind of doing a few things kind of fast here. Hold that down, um, and we'll grab this guy here, and we're gonna change him to square. <coughs> Hopefully that little connection in the middle doesn't squirrel out on us. Okay, so we're square now. Uh, tab, tab, pick it, and we're now going to uh, duck size it. And we hit OK and see if we get any changes in here. Okay, notice it did. It actually got a little bigger at that point. So it, there we go. So we've been sized. We're going to go back to our sections. And before I'd actually put the flex duck in, I can now take this. And uh, if I want to change the elevation, I can say, well, you know, we're all good to go. I'm going to put it at 10 feet. And notice it drops down. Ooh. See, the reason it's crashing is because of those elbows. So let's try 11 feet. And it should drop down. Okay. Now, if we want to go further, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to convert the flex duct because those hard fittings, like this one, are causing the, the crash. So... If we want to go further down, we'll convert to flex. Select systems, convert to flex. One, two, three. Now we can take this main duck line and we can drop it. So I'll drop that down to 10 feet. And you'll see it's going to work this time because we're using flex. And that gives us a little bit more capability of laying that down. So what we have is a little bit nicer layout. Go back to our floor plan. And there we go. It won't won't calculate is an open end. So go to the end here, and uh, I'm going to delete the two end caps that I have. If you have a square duct, go up top, and you're going to hit under the little thing called duct fittings. You pick on it, and then it, there's a cap. There's a round cap. There's a square cap, rectangular cap, and then we can snap the ends on. Okay. Um, looking for regular end cap yeah. and then you pop it and it's automatically going to size to fit it now you'll notice that this duck happens to be a 17 by 17 uh, we talked about this earlier in the training if we didn't give Revit the ability to go to 17 by 17 it wouldn't go there so that's if you hit so I may jack this up or drop it down okay and uh, now we're good to go. So that's how we can uh, lay the ducts in. Now, if we want to show this in not so greater detail, we can go to hit course, and once it knows it shows it now as a one line. So it's uh, just another way to show it, print it, send it out, and we're good to go.